Hello everyone, this is Carly Jenkins with the Gillespie County Extension Office. I'm going to be going over some tips and instructions on how to register for District Roundup contests through Texas 4-H online. One of the things you'll need to know is which age division your child is in. Third through fifth graders are considered juniors. Sixth through eighth graders are considered intermediates. Ninth through twelfth graders are considered seniors. Juniors may move up to compete on an intermediate team if you need another member, but intermediate members cannot move up to compete at the senior level. The numbers, team numbers, most contests require teams of three to four. Um, it just depends on the contest, so if you need for us to look that up, just let us know. Um, if there are three individuals in the same age division that register for a contest, they're going to automatically be put on a team. So there are different types of events through District Roundup. There are individual events, there are team events, and there are individual or team events. Um, the team only events, which means you cannot compete in as an individual, are Leaders for Life and Food Challenge. Those you must have a team. Individual only events are Fashion Show and Storyboard. So those two events are only for individuals. All other contests you can participate in as an individual or as a team. One thing that can be confusing is that if you're registering for a team event, each individual team member must register. It can't be taken care of through one team member. Say your team has four team members, four people will need to individually register to constitute that team. There are, the contests also have varying registration dates. Those are listed on the screen in front of you. March 9th through March 22nd is a series of contests. March 22nd through March 29th is meats judging and horse judging. March 30th through April 5th is consumer decision making and food challenge. And we're gonna to continue to send those dates to you uh, throughout the registration period so that we can help you keep track of that. And another thing you'll be pleased to hear is that your payment for these contests, adult leaders will cover that. And so you do not need to add your credit card to these registrations, you need to select county check as your payment options. Now you may certainly select your own credit card if you just wanna go ahead and pay for it yourself. And if you select that, we'll go ahead and submit it that way. But the Adult Leaders is gracious enough to um, offer to pay those contest fees for all of our youth. So select 4-H check or county check as your payment option when you submit the event. Once you submit the event, it's going to say pending review at the county level. We will wait until um, close to the end of that registration period. We'll review all of them, then we'll send them through to the district. Once it's sent beyond the district is when it'll actually become an official entry. So now I'm going to actually describe how you get to the registration site. So on your internet browser, you're gonna wanna use Firefox or Google you're going to want to go to texas.4honline.com. You don't want to go to the old system, which was 4-H Connect. You want to go to 4-H Online. Once inside of 4-H Online, so you log in your, with your credentials, you're going to see your family members listed on the screen. Whenever you want to register a certain member for a contest, you'll click on the blue button right next to their individual name. And then on the left hand side, you'll see a column that says events. Then you'll click on events on the left hand side. And you'll see a gray button in the upper right hand corner that says register. You'll then click on that registration button and find the event that you're wanting to register for. I'm going to select share the fun in this instance. You'll highlight that event, you'll hit next, and then you'll hit start registration. And then you'll complete all of the fields that are required. Um, anytime you see that red required, 
text, make sure that you uh, fill that in. You are going to need to know the title of your presentation, and you're also going to need to know your team members' names. So if you don't have that information, consult with your coach before you register. Continue filling out all of the information, and then when you complete that, hit Next. Once you hit that Next button, you'll be brought to a screen for the payment option, and that's where you'll select the Payment County Check. And once you select your payment, you'll submit the entry, and then you'll be done. And if you have any further questions with that, please give me a call at 830-997-3452. Good luck.